have to report it. They have methods they can use, i.e. withholding um, information. I mean, I, 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 the power of access, I, I, I think it's quite frightening. And I don't think, it, I think it's quite, it's very hard for uh, people who aren't in this business uh, to understand how much it matters. If you're a political editor on one of the leading broadcasters and you ask difficult questions of the prime minister, you will immediately find that your access is denied. You, will not, you won't be called to give questions at press conferences. You'll never get the um, morning, the in, big interviews. And then your desks will start to ask, why aren't you getting the interview with the prime minister or the, uh, the various ministers? Uh, and you will be um, sacked in the end. That's, that's the calculation. Or if you, one of the reasons, to give one example, I know he's a very good, I mean, Andrew Marr, but the reason he's very soft in a way is that he has to bring back, he has, a, he has to bring them back every week. Um, and so uh, he's, um, and if he doesn't bring them back, uh, you know, what's the point of his show? And, so, and then the other way they use access is information. And so this for political editors on newspapers, uh, if you're not getting, if you're, if you're cut out by Dining Street, if you're not being fed information, uh, you get sacked for that quite quickly. And of course, the political editor of a newspaper has to deal with his editor and in turn his proprietor. So Murdoch will have a policy, for instance, that he likes Johnson, and, and Murdoch may have, and then his editors will have that policy. And the political editor, there is a very strict sort of line of um, control there. Yeah, absolutely. That's interesting. So although there, there isn't this huge conspiracy behind the scenes of, of being sort of controlled by the state, but ultimately the, the, the two have to go hand in hand and it's from a position very, of very, power. There yeah. is a very, very troubling uh, complicity mm -hmm. between uh, the media and the press um, and uh, this government. It's not unique, by the way. It happened during the, at the high, Mr. Johnson is probably as powerful and as, uh, as Blair was in, you know, the run up to the Iraq war. And you know, when you're powerful like that, it's very hard even to write a bad story and get them, get a bad story into the paper. Um, uh, and it's, and the policy of many papers is to um, just um, stay close to the dining street and they'll give you the scoops break you uh, uh, and they use access absolutely ruthlessly to keep papers in line.